Enable me access and explain a video for the accessibility audit certification. We have our A4 plaque here and you can see that it's three-dimensional and the round ones here are nine in number. This is the different areas of accessibility and inclusion and you can see that there's image and also a little label on each one explaining which area of accessibility or inclusion. At the top of the certificate you will see the premises name and address. Then there is a statement saying what is covered by the certificate and the intention of the certification process. Followed by the emblems of the legislative ministries of the government, starting with the National Building Code by the Bureau of Indian Standards, the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act by the Ministry of Law and Justice, and the General Development Control Regulations and Harmonised Guidelines and Space Standards by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Now I'll go on to explain the iconography of the certificate. The first stage would be an assessment of the management's sensitization, their awareness of the laws regarding disability rights and employment obviously, and also including all the intricacies regarding accessibility, whether it be computer, visual, physical, and obviously in terms of human resource management, the inclusion in the workspace, and the training of the colleagues and supervisors and middle management. Once this assessment is completed, we can see it'll be indicated in green. As with all these areas indicated by these icons, the yellow represents the requirements to achieve compliance. So basically this is a question of an enhancement of the management procedures and uh, awareness of what needs to be completed in order to reach the compliance with all the legislation. And then following on from that, we'll look at the orange sector, which is basically planning for implementation. For businesses of a single establishment, uh, small businesses with one location or just a couple of locations, this would be a sensitization for all those managers in those couple of establishments. Larger organizations will need to have a company-wide corporate implementation which will require sensitization of management at, at each of the establishment locations. So basically this orange quadrant represents the scheduling and implementation of the sensitization courses and the workshops that are required by the corporate policy. And the final stage is the red quadrant which is uh, basically assessing whether the implementation of the policies have been successful. So the, the next stage obviously is to move on to policy because nothing should be done in the company unless it's according to the HR and HSC and mission statement policies. Usually this would be done or partially assessed through the management process, the management sensitization process and uh, that would be a very good time to do this alongside that process. In each area you'll see that the first stage is green which is measurement and the yellow stage is assessment of what is required. The third stage is assessing which mitigations will be required and scheduling for the same. So you can see that there's some room for overlap and things to be done in a parallel fashion uh, at the same time particularly with management and policy. Coming to uh, HR, we would first of all look at the existing documents, uh, the HR policy, HSC policy, and the mission statement to make sure that uh, there's actual clear statements regarding persons with disabilities. And this yellow area is where we work out what those statements would be uh, according to your company's culture, making sure that they're inclusive and compliant with legislation. And then we will make sure that that goes into publication and uh, and then finally we'll make sure that it is pushed out to all the different branches and uh, locations 
And that's uh, that red area will basically be when we, we check to see that finally that uh, those policy changes have been implemented. And so finally we're going into the section regarding actual accessibility, physical accessibility and uh, inclusion for visually impaired. And you can see the green will be the audit of the buildings, the yellow will be how this differs from actual requirement and then finally orange will be the scheduling for the implementation and the uh, co company's commitments and the red obviously uh, represents the final stage of implementation, auditing of that implementation. Now you'll see in the animation uh, different areas going on from assessment to planning and not all together and this should it basically indicating that um, implementation can be done with whatever it's easiest to do first or according to the priorities of the management. So you can see why the uh, certificate is a little bit intricate because it allows for complexity. Uh, a business is complex and its processes can be different to similar businesses and we allow for that flexibility and we try to reflect accurately its current compliance with legislation. There is a cutoff date uh, as according to the rules of the Rights for People with Disabilities Act 2016. These rules were gazetted on June 2017 and their five-year period was given for full complete uh, compliance and that gives till June 2023. However, we'd like to take a practical and pragmatic approach which will mean that we're really concentrating on inclusive policies and the basics of accessibility. Without uh, physical accessibility, people with wheelchairs and uh, those with mobility problems really don't have any inclusion in the workspace. And that means uh, good ramps, good doorways and accessible toilets. And the HR of corporates will understand that there are already government rules regarding uh, making allowances for people with disabilities to be included in the workplace and those who implement early will obviously uh, have the pick of the crop so to speak the better educated and the most capable uh, people with disabilities and there are plenty of them out there including lawyers accountants architects business management consultants and professionals in the travel industry those establishments which have achieved uh, full compliance with accessibility and disability rights in, in regards to employment and so on will obviously um, be immune to the deluge of litigation which is expected in June 2023 uh, for all the businesses which have not uh, made any effort towards con uh, inclusion will be extremely exposed to litigation from people seeking employment and also from those wishing to use their establishments uh, for any purpose and uh, they would basically not have a leg to stand on in the in the courts. So on that final note of caution uh, we wish you all the best in your efforts to include people with disabilities in your workplace to for your customers employees and for any professionals who will be visiting in your premises.